Yo, yo. <laughs> yo, yo, how's it going, everybody? It's me, Thugget McNugget, and we are back with another stream, Finding Paradise, part three. What is up? Hopefully everybody had a great Tuesday. I hope everyone's having a great week so far. Um, how's it going? How's it going? Today, pretty good. I had a pretty good day today. Uh, chill, chill ass Tuesday, dude. Um, we're getting our work done. It's kind of like the, near the end of the month, so all our work is kind of getting done already. It should be done. So it's like, it's like a pretty good feeling right now. Just we're just kind of like doing other things while like the main thing that we needed to do dude i'm speaking super i'm like speaking in tongues right now like super fucking vague yo what up snacks how's it going nice nice job being first aduma boobies well happy boobies um but yeah again things are going pretty well um, we are back with another Finding Paradise. Last time we left off, uh, we were in the memory of uh, Colin, and he was, uh, you know, doing his scales with his wife before her big show. Um, if you are new to the series, the whole series is about uh, trying to get Colin, or we, we are, uh, how would you say this? We are doctors, or scientists, I guess who work in fulfilling the wish of people who are about to pass away. But we fulfill their wishes by altering their memories, going into their memories and changing them. So to them it's real, but it never really happened. Our patient, his name is Colin. He, his dying wish is to feel that he, fulfill, that he lived a fulfilling life without messing with the memories of his son and with his uh, wife. The wife hates the idea, feels sad that he, that he feels that he has regrets and that he wants to fix them. Um, so yeah, but there's some weird shit going on. This is the sequel where um, one thing went a certain way at the in the first one this one is being a little different where instead of going back in time in order we're jumping between his adulthood to his childhood back to his adulthood back to his childhood and we really don't know why so that's a little synopsis of what's going on so far and uh we are going to continue right now i uh, just want to thank uh itis 91 cinnabubble and pure crack and skulls live for the off uh, off stream follows thank you so much everybody i really appreciate it anyways without further ado let's go ahead and give a shouty <laughs> let's give a shouty to snacks as well as a duma mom there we go i know you stream a duma minecraft all right let's go ahead and get started Oh no, shit. <laughs> Fuck, I pressed the wrong button. I'm starting it over from the beginning. Oh well. I'm gonna have to do that all over again. Bleh. Hold on, guys. Give me one second. Uh, da -na -na -na. Let me just go to a BRB screen just so I could open this up. Yo, Chris, what is going on? Thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate it. I like your name. Dude, I like you for following. <laughs> no, but thank you so much for the follow. I uh, I definitely appreciate it. Right now, I'm being a scuff streamer, and uh, I accidentally put new game instead of, you know, continuing our game. Let me see. Let me see. Okay. There we go. All right, we're back. We're back. How's it going? Happy Tuesday. How'd you find me, by the way? How'd you find me, Chris?
all right so here we are we're back where we left off in this game uh we are currently uh listening to uh, colin and his wife play what's it called uh uh play together with his wife don't worry about it I have my wings all right dude so let's see let's go ahead and continue they sure try hard to play some fancy scales all right so right now we are going to be exploring we're gonna see if we could find oh wait no 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 yeah yeah we we, we already know what the conduit is so let's go ahead and go for it prepare that i remember now we had found the conduit now we are able to go to the next memory but i do have to uh what's it called I do gotta do this little puzzle thing. So it's that. Hey, Suma, how are you? Suma, why are you crying? What's wrong? <laughs> Thank you so much for coming out. I appreciate you. It's weird. All right, all right, okay, we did it, I guess. That was a weird one. Okay, activate memento. We're gonna go further into uh, memory. Hmm. You know what's weird? What? This memory of his wife's last concert. Yet we didn't see any of her concert itself. There was a flicker back there, I guess. Still, self-absorption? Self-absorption ahoy? Perhaps, but it depends. What we see here is largely influenced by his actual regrets, after all. Try to remember what he... Try to remember what we see here has more to do with relevance than importance to him. Eh. Something still feels odd to me. But alright. See you on the other side. Okay. So again, um... I guess it's like... We're dealing with... Regret. There's something that he regrets in his life. And I guess that was his... That was our way of figuring out that like... These... We're seeing things that caused his regret. Um, by the way, if anybody is in the chat, let me know if the music is a little loud or if, uh, you know, there's any, I don't know, the audio is not good or something. Hold up. This don't seem right. This don't seem right. Come on. <laughs> Yo, Leah, what is up? How's it going? There you go, Suma. I hope you enjoy the emotes and the ad free experience. Yo, thank you so much for the head pad. I appreciate it. Dude, you were the last playing Forsake? Holy shit. How's that game? <laughs> Ah, oh, yo, cozy, cozy. What up? How's it going, cozy? Hold on. I need to give a shout out to cozy. There you go. Thank you so much for uh, coming out, cozy. There's a little shouty for you. Oh, are you spoiling my Sumi? Of course. Sumi is always welcome. Okay. Let's go ahead and continue. We just moved back in time. Again, we are seeing uh, what's causing his regrets. 
<laughs> what up, Big Mike? How's it going, dude? There's a little shouty for you as well. <laughs> Guys, we are dealing with a sad game, all right? <laughs> I want to need the emotional support for sure. Come on, it's just up ahead. Look at this, Colin. Hell yeah, you use those emotes. Again, let me know if the audio is too loud, or maybe I need to lower it. And oh! <laughs> oh, Sumo, you want uppies? Sumo, want uppies. <laughs> that's funny, that's funny, y'all. What? Leah, you want uppies? You want uppies, Leah? Sumo and Leah want uppies. <laughs> Yo, what the? 35 bits. Cozy, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Awesome stream, by the way. Earlier, I had a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun chilling and chatting with you. Oh, Whisper ASMR? Guys, you're not going to let me play, are you? so much for the whisper ASMR. It's always fun. No queso. Cheese dip. I made some. Wait, you made some queso cheese dip or did you make quesadillas? Please. <laughs> Ums, I gotta ask. I love uppies. <laughs> I guess not. If I see if I see the emote, it's like you're already asking for it. Yo, thank you. Thank you for coming out, Tuma. Nugget. Queso. Queso? Like the dip? Queso. You don't like queso. Bruh. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> queso? Are you talking about... Ah, I see, I see. Yo, that's good. Mmm. I want some. 
All right, I'm going to continue on with the game a little bit. Um, so Faye is somebody that is from his memories, but we don't really know. Let's go ahead and see what is going on. Yeah, yeah, I know where it is. Why do we have to come so far just to play some music anyway? Have you seen the view up there? It's unreal. Oh yeah, so Faye is the, the, I believe is the girl that was shouting at him from the other apartment building, which is, might be kind of crazy because it's like, it looked really far. Like Chipotle melted cheese water. <laughs> melted cheese water. <laughs> Guess what it's big in Tex-Mex, yeah. Uh, and, it's, <laughs> and it isn't cheap either. That's funny. <laughs> Besides, no one would be around uh, to tell me I suck at cello. You suck at cello. Eh, you get a pass. Face it to the top. People pay like, yo, that is true. Gesso is really expensive, honestly. I would just enjoy just regular nachos, honestly. Like, queso, like it's good, but it's just, it's like, come on. It's pricey. I best the system. I worked there and got the recipes. Oh, yeah. I remember that, Suma. You said that you have all the Chipotle recipes. That girl from the balcony, huh? I don't know if his wife would like this. It's not much to fuss over. They were just kids. And besides, this was long before Collins, e Collins ever met Sophia. Still... The memories we see here tend to be relevant to his real-time regrets, right? Yep. It's not our job to judge. Let's see how it goes. There's some old Texas cowboy dude on YouTube that teaches the best queso recipe. He does it right in the smoker. Dude, I love, I love YouTube recipes because it's like, easy recipe, only five ingredients. Take out your $500 processor and then put it in, put that in there for five minutes, then stick it in the like $1,000 smoker. After that, you're going to dry age your meat in the dry ager. After that, you're going to take your frother and you're going to froth it up. You're going to froth up the eggs. You need, you're going to need a froth machine. I'm Mexican. I just asked my mom to make food when I'm craving Mexican or Mexican adjacent food. That's funny. <laughs> you just like, I don't go to no restaurant. I got, I got the restaurant here. That's funny. I wish I was that good at cooking. It's like, dude, <laughs> we got the restaurant at home. That's how my mom is, but like, it's the, it's the like, mom, I want Spider-Man. We got Spider-Man at home. And it's like, like a really cheap pinata. <laughs> that's, that's my, <laughs> that's my mom meme. <laughs> Good morning, Nugget. Yo, DJ, dude, how are you? Thank you so much for coming out. A little shouty for you. Dude, what do you mean by good morning? Did you really just wake up? Uh, all this sidetracking, nothing here. Hey, let me help with that. Is that a chest? Better? Depends. Received fuzzy socks. Your favorite. You're welcome. Aw, uh, I don't know why, but that was like a little cute. Sometimes I think these two are like something, you know? But I don't know. Nah, just got out of work. Yo, nice. How was work, TJ? Hopefully you had a good one. Yo, thank you for the lurk. I appreciate it, dude. Uh, let's see. By the way, guys, can you let me know if you hear my keyboard? Look, that's me tapping on it right now. Can you hear it? I'm already in the works of getting a new uh, keyboard. Um... The switches, yes, nice. Thank you for letting me know. The switches on this one is a little too loud, and I realize that I like silent switches. 
Um, the other keyboard I had was the first one I had so I switches and I just yo it feels so good it feels like you're pressing on nothing uh, let me see I could only wish a little jelly my mom's a terrible cook but I'm also not Mexican either yeah my mom's a, my mom's a terrible cook as well <laughs> oh my gosh yeah nice nice Need to shower and get ready for stream. Dude, hell yeah. We'll be streaming tonight, Big Mike. Okay, just give me a moment. And you wanted to race to the top, huh? It's the cello. You try carrying this thing uphill. Not to mention, you're like weightless. Hey, it was your idea. No idea. Break time. It's just the cello. It's all hollow inside. What you need is some real exercise. Oh. Hey, what are you doing? Hop off. We're gonna roll downhill and die. Wow, so grim. I thought you just said I'm weightless. At least be a little consistent. Why are the best places always so hard to get to? What's the point if I just... if? What's the point if it just tires me out to get there? Might as well just close my eyes and pretend I'm there. You're such a downer, you know that? Look at me. I'm Colin. I just roll around and complain all day. <laughs> my mom cooks like meat and potatoes. I was the one forced to cook as a teen. <laughs> Yo, meat and potatoes sounds good, though. It really depends. Like, I'm, I'm pretty simple. Like, just meat and potatoes sounds perfect. Just, you know, don't oversalt it. Don't over pepper it. Oh man, that sounds good though. Let's see. That's good. I wish I I wish I knew how to cook without a cookbook. Like I wish I knew what everything tastes like together. That way I could like come up with my own things, you know? Like they say a good cook doesn't follow a recipe, he changes it, you know? You can stay here if you wanna, but I'm going places. You could dance if you want to. You could leave your world behind. Alright, let's continue. Hmm. Oh look, there they are. So, what can you play? Just a skill, sort of. Still? But it's been months. Hey, not everyone got those fancy private tutoring like you. I'm just figuring it out as I go. Hmm. Why don't you play a bit and show me? Okay. But it's just the scales, you know. Same. I... And now my mom's boyfriend always cooks. Oh, always asks when I'm gonna visit, cause I'm gonna I'm a good cook and always do when I visit. Oh, that's nice of you. That's awesome. What do you like to cook, Cozy? He's just playing the scales. Oh, what the hell? What was that? Well, it could be worse. It could always be worse. Don't you practice? Yeah, but it's so boring to play the scales over and over. I wish I could just jump directly into playing melodies. Yeah, I feel that. Here, why don't you play it again? All right, here it goes. See? With the right accompaniment, anything could be a melody. OK. 
Okay. Isn't that what Colin and his wife were playing in the last memory? Yeah. Can we judge now? <laughs> uh, so he would play it with her and yeah, receive blue mushroom. Uh, why did you take that? No reason. I just like them. Okay, can we just keep this setting intact? You're kind of ruining the colors. Colors. Hmm. I strictly been cooking tacos and changas, chimichangas since moving here, but I love making chicken pot pies and bananas and just trying new recipes in general. I tried to do a whole Maddie, Ma uh, Maddie Matheson cookbook once, but it got expensive doing that. Oh, did he ask you to to go buy a, a smoke, a smoker, a dry, dry ager and a processor, food processor and and toaster oven and <laughs> I'm kidding <laughs> but that's cool though that's really cool that sounds really good you know you can hack the system Nugget. yes I know I know I'm just talking I'm just talking it's a big meme <laughs> it's a big meme and it's super funny whenever I see it. <laughs> yeah, a lot of stuff I don't have or just expensive ingredients. Yeah, that's that's the thing about where I live. We don't get, like, crazy ingredients here. Sometimes it's, like, things call for... for Things call... Like, recipes call for certain things that we can't get here. And that sucks. But we improvise, you know. I can't think of, like, a certain ingredient right now, but, like... Yeah, there's been multiple times it's just like, oh, we uh, we don't have that here in this store. Bro, when it comes to like whipping eggs for lemon pies, you need that mixer. <laughs> Nuggie's specialty is chicken and broccoli. Yo, that's all you need. Chicken and broccoli. So good, so healthy. But, you know, like, broccoli, zucchini, asparagus, green beans, spinach. Those are, like, my, probably my top vegetables that I'm eating right now. But, uh, yeah, like, chicken with a little bit of lemon pepper. Or with, like, a good amount of lemon pepper. Or just, you know, salt and pepper. I've never tried, like... I don't know, cayenne or any of that, oregano. Do you put, can you put, well, I mean, you can, right? But like oregano on chicken breast, I think that's more like a, an Italian thing. I don't know. I always hear oregano when it comes to like pizza and spaghetti and things like that. But uh, here we go. An empty cello case and a withered green book. He sure likes taking that book everywhere. I'm actually uh, I'm actually surprised it's not getting blown away by the wind. Wow, those are some giant flowers. I think it's a hibiscus. Oh, we got the memento. Odd place for a wild one to grow, though. You sure brought that song a long way into the future. Well, to be fair, it's just the scale. <laughs> what I'm more curious about is how his wife knew the same accompaniment to it. The scale theme. Yo, Mellow Jello! Dude, how is it going? How are you, dude? Thank you so much for coming by. Hold on, let me give a shout out to Mellow Jello. Fun streamer. 
Plane Smite? Nice, nice. Does it make you rage? I hear that it makes a lot of people rage. I want to stick... Like, when it comes to MOBAs, I stick to Dota 2 and sometimes League. I haven't played either one in forever. But whenever I do, it's, like, bad. It's bad, dude. So I, I try to stay away from those games. At least Dota. League, I, it's whatever. If I'm not playing uh the star yes oh <laughs> i'm not i've never played smite but i'm guessing the star is star is a is a character they're all like gods right that's like the theme gods and ninja turtles <laughs> i think the ninja turtles are playable in that game i have friends that play it they rage at it a lot or i don't know if they still do they moved over to uh league so right now we uh, are going to jump into another memory. Right now we're playing also Finding Paradise, this is a sequel to um, To the Moon. I don't know if you've ever heard of that game. But it is, it's a very emotional game, tearjerker. So if that is your cup of tea, you're in the right place. There we go. That's an I. A star is my main. Every other god makes me rage, but I'm pretty chill, honestly. When I play, I don't really sweat anymore. That's good. That's good. Do you, like, take it casually now? Is that what you're trying to say? Or are you saying that you're just, like, you've gotten better that you don't really, like, sweat too much? Nice. That's good. Games are meant to be relaxing, not stressful. And that is, uh, that is Dota. Dude, because Dota matches could, like, take 40 minutes, and it's just you losing, dude. I cannot. Not casual. Damn. <laughs> Palm sweaty, mom spaghetti. Palm sweaty, mom spaghetti. Oregano. On the jelly. Chicken breast and broccoli. Can I have some more, please? All right. Trying to take games more casually, even Valorant. Yo, <laughs> that's I, I take I take Valorant casually, but like sometimes it's, it's just so frustrating, dude. It's so frustrating because like with Valorant, it's a lot of like, you know what you did wrong, like. You, it's like hindsight you know what you did wrong and it's like why did I do that yo Odie what is up how's it going how are you Odie here's a little shout out for Odie Oldster you take Valorant casually <laughs> that's funny Pulled Odie out of the showers with that rap. <laughs> with the rap. Mom spaghetti rap. I'm laughing my ass off. We are pro Valo players. Thank you very much. I got a whole team. <laughs> the kitten team. That's funny. That's true, though. That is true. But. Come on, Leo. You know you could, like, have fun with it sometimes. It's not always sweat. But when you need to, though, damn, you clutch. You clutch. You're like, let me let me go Super Saiyan. You know? And then when Super Saiyan isn't enough, you're like, let me turn blue. Let me turn Super Saiyan blue. Yeah, if truly have some of those... 
No teammate. Oh, yeah. If truly have some of those, you know, it might be. I might not be so casual. Oh, oh, I see. I see. <laughs> I get that. Thanks for the shout out. Going to leave a lurk because I'm streaming now. Have a good one. Yo, enjoy your stream. Have a good one. Thank you so much for coming by and the lurk. I appreciate you. All right, let me go ahead and continue this. Uh, let me see. Huh? Okay, so we, we entered into a new memory. Um, I believe we're in the adult uh, stage again. Huh? Have you ever seen wild hibiscus around this part of the world? I don't know. I'm not a wannabe plantologist. It's called botanist. Oh, hey, look over there. Oh, no, I can't play casually with Leah on Valo. Say it ain't so. <laughs> it ain't so. Okay. So this kid's here. Hiya, chat. Yo, AV, what is up, AV? Shouty to AV. Go check him out. Overwatch 2, dude? You're always playing Overwatch 2, bro. <laughs> Much love to AV. Careful up there. Stop, bro. <laughs> I'm a real gamer playing WoW Classic right now. Dude, I wish I got to know World of Warcraft, man. Everybody who tell everybody who plays will tell me it's never too late to join and it's not. It's never not, but it's like bro, like like the culture had been a, the culture is established and I wish I was part of that culture building, you know? That's what I wish I was what I was a part of. I when I say that I remember when I played Overwatch and then was been Oh no, no. <laughs> Careful up there, Ash. Those look like uh those look a bit loose. It's all good. Dad, I got this. Oh, okay. Asher. Looks a bit loose. It's all good. It's oh, it's all good, Dad. I got this. You should come up here and play too. Listen, at least come down and let me fix it first. Never! Uh, oh, okay. Something's going on here. Are you okay, son? Uh, his son fell from the from the tires. Ash? Yeah, I'm okay. I'm invincible. Uh, I'll check out chat right now. We're just like in a little cutscene right here. Was that? Don't know. Let's try not to jump to conclusions. Yeah, I'm angry with the devs. They basically just stole our money. Oh, because of over. Oh, because of uh, the um. Oh, what's it called? The PVE, right? Dude. As much as I probably wouldn't have played that that much, it was still like a big part of the game that I was excited to play. It sucks. It really it really does suck. You can make the argument that it's like, yo, it's free to play and stuff, right? But like people were excited and were supporting the game for like that reason. You know, like, people were excited and celebrating that game, so they threw money at it. 
And then it's like, yo, change of plans, dude. You're not getting what we told you. And it's like, dude, like, maybe people wouldn't have supported that hard if it wasn't for that, you know? Because that was a big addition to, to Overwatch 2. And that was going to be, like, the reason why Overwatch 2 existed, you know? Like, I guess, as everybody's saying it, earning that too. But, uh, yeah, it, it, it's, it's pretty stupid. It's pretty dumb. I don't really know why they did it. But, uh, I don't know. I don't think at this point there's, like, they've been advertising it so much and, you know, putting it in their plans that I don't think any reason is justified. So, yeah. Not f uh, let me see. Not for real. It's never going to be too late to play WoW. I got you, Nugi. Know, come play with me. WoW got you. There's literally no reason to cancel Overwatch 1 to make game worse with no PvE. That's promised. I mean, the, exactly. That's, that's the mindset that people could have had at the beginning. And they could have decided whether to support Overwatch 2 or not. But now it's like they we feel tricked. You know, we feel a little betrayed by the devs. Yeah, a few of my friends who pre-ordered got screwed. Dude, I I pre-ordered Overwatch 2. I don't even I I forgot what I got with what I would get with it, but I pre-ordered Overwatch 2. <laughs> Where's my compensation, bro? Alright, let's see. Let's continue. What's wrong with him? The joy of being a parent, probably. What a short memory. Let's keep up the pace. What? I wanna... Oh, I don't think I can. I don't think I could talk to this kid. Or, like, have anything to say about the kid. Um, let's go ahead and continue. Wait, hold on a second. But yeah, Mellow Jello, thank you so much for the invite, by the way. It'd be it'd be pretty fun. Right now, though, I really want to finish Final Fantasy XIV or catch up with Final Fantasy XIV, the expansion. It's it, I say I I'm going to, but it's it's I have not been able to, you know. So uh, we'll see, we'll see. It's because I I uh, like I work and then I stream and then like yeah. So I have to really decide on what to do. Oh shit, nice. Um, but uh, yeah, I, I really want to like jump back into Final Fantasy XIV and at least catch up with the expansions, the story. Because um, Overwatch was one of my favorite multiplayer games. Uh, even everyone and I just felt like they spit on my face. Nah, dude. Oh, f favorite multiplayer uh, player games ever. And I just felt like they spit on my face. Oh man, that sucks. I'm sorry. You play that too? That's cool. I got five level 70s. That's badass. Nugget and MMOs don't mix good. <laughs> Yo, what up, Deja? How's it going? Hope you're doing well. They don't. Not anymore. I just don't have time for them anymore, sadly. But I'm still going to play Elder Scrolls. <laughs> I'm never gonna I'm never gonna say I'm not gonna play it because I do want to go through it one day we'll see when we'll see when I I have a few level 80s and I believe we were going to 90 yeah right what what do you know what you know Deja huh what you know kidding she knows it's been years. It's been years that I've been saying I'm going to play it. I just always run back to WoW. Uh, back to WoW. I quit, then always come back. And it's like my happy place. That's good. I'm glad. I don't know what my happy place is. That sounded really sad. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Let's go ahead and continue. Final Fantasy, Final Fantasy 14 used to be my happy place, but I, I stopped playing it so much. It's like, it's not that anymore.
All right. Uh, let me see. Okay, let's continue on to the next memory. By the way, guys, please let me know how the audio is doing. Sometimes the music just seems a little too loud for me. So I'm just like, oh, is it is it overpowering me? So just let me know if you can. All right, so we're going back to our other memory. Hey, we're older now. We're like probably a teenager. This game looks interesting. I like these types of games. Dude, it's really nice. It's a tearjerker though. This is the sequel to uh, To The Moon. And To The Moon was a complete tearjerker. This one, yeah, they're, they're all, they're both like emotional stories. Okay. Been waiting for me, huh? What took you so long? Sheesh! <laughs> I made it, didn't I? I got a life, you know. Whoa! Where'd you learn to do that? It's called talent. Come on. Weren't you gonna show me your school? Yeah, the classroom should be cleared by now. Are you gonna stay for our band practice as well? Yeah, yeah, lead the way. Aw, don't they remind you of us when we were young? Not one bit. That's funny. Alright, let's check out what's going on over here. So, Colin had this really close friend when he was younger that does not appear in his, in his, uh, in his adult life. And again, the memories that we're seeing are big influences on his regret. So, it's it's a little, mm, what's going on here? That's the thing. Mm. I remember you recommended me to the moon forever ago. It's so good. If, you, if you've if you never played it, you need to. I still recommend it <laughs> if you haven't played it. Huh. This school looks familiar. Small world. But then again, I guess many of the geezers here grew up in the same area. <laughs> Yo, this is the school for the first one. Yeah. It is. It, nah, that's funny. That's crazy. This is where we have our art class. Neat. Are any of the drawings yours? No, mine got thrown out. These are the good ones. <laughs> Dude, relatable. I can relate. I just don't know how they do it. I wish I could draw it half as good. Relatable again? Uh, oh, I thought they could see me. You gotta wonder, are these how they really looked or is it just his way of remembering? Either way, the craftsmanship is brilliant. If those are good ones. <laughs> well, again, it might just be the way he remembers them. Um, just to like catch y'all up, we are in the memory of Colin. This is Colin and he's currently in his deathbed. Oh, hold on. At least there aren't drawings of barrels. I think I remember that. So this is Colin up here. He's currently on his deathbed and we are in his memories. We are trying to fulfill his wish of him f living a fulfilling life. Oh man, I started a whole new save file. But he doesn't know what would constitute a fulfilling life. The only thing that he wished that we do not do is mess with, his mem with the memory of his son and his wife. But he doesn't know what exactly 
would make him think that he lived a fulfilling life. He just knows that he has regrets. And we're seeing a lot of this childhood friend, Faye. I believe her name is Faye, yeah. So it's getting a little sad. It's, we're, we're kind of a little, it's a little curious. Like what, what was this person to him? Why, why was this a big part of his regret? That's some big dreams. It really is, honestly. Like if you think about it, it's what everyone asks for, I think. Is the cafeteria locked? Nah, I just don't like going in there. There's plenty of nicer and quieter places to eat. Uh, we do know that he was also like kind of picked on when he was younger. He was kind of an odd kid. Didn't really have many friends. The fact that he doesn't want to go into the cafeteria with his friend from a different school is like a little telling. He probably just doesn't want to deal with that. And I sit right over there. Although, I'm probably going to move soon. How come? Well, I sat with this odd girl because we're both really quiet, but recent... Well, she's been hanging out... She's been hanging out with someone a lot. So... So they want to sit together, of course. They're bumping you off? Let me beat them up for you. Oh, it's nothing like that. They just look happy together. So I should just, so I should get them to sit at the same table, right? <laughs> Damn. The one class everybody slacks off at and you're, and you actually work, computer class. Eh, I like these classes. If you really try hard, you can create entire worlds in them. How cool is that? Well, that does sound like your thing. Wait, hold on, let me see. Let me see if there's like any dialogue. And yours. Oh, and yours. Oh, so Rosalind is like, and yours Watts. Hey, you never know. You could be in a world I created right now. Har har. That's funny. Uh, are you that shy? I'm not shy. I just don't care to bother. Ooh, so gritty. Ooh, so gritty. Hey, I like her. That's funny. Hold on. Let me go back and check out what they had to say here. Oh. They just look happy together, so I should move the table, right? Huh? Okay. Alright, let's continue. We can now go into... I think this is the gymnasium, if I remember correctly. Yeah. Playing scales on an orchestral level now, huh? She taught him well. Huh. <laughs> she fell asleep. That's kind of rude. I can almost hear her snores through the stream. I can almost see her snores. Alright, there we go. There's our memento. Let's go ahead and continue. Oh, I could just do this. Okay. It wasn't too hard.
You know, if Faye was so important that he recalls so much about her, even now, what happened to her? We haven't seen traces, any traces later on. I have a few guesses. Oh, dude, no. Dang, nabbit. Don't tell me, dude. Don't tell me that, like, something bad happened. Don't tell me something bad happened, bro. Do not. Huh? Oh, is this flight school or something? An airline pilot hat. So again, we're like at his adulthood again. He was a pilot when he was like older. This could be when he was like, wait, what's going on? Who are you? Wrong room, sorry. Oh wait, no, this is a hospital, holy shit. He's like, I think his wife is about to give birth. He's like trying to find the, the room his wife's in. Sorry, Fia, the storm grounded my plane back all day and I just... You made it. Oh. His son, Ash. Or Asher. Is that... Honey, you're vibrating the baby. I'm just gonna be right back. Okay. Is he okay? happy though right of course I am it's just that I don't know I was such a I was in such a rush to get back and suddenly seeing him here I guess I just needed a moment for it to sink in hey it's okay I feel it too you know but well maybe it's as they say Maybe we're never meant to feel ready. How could I when I feel no different from the kid I was yesterday? But you are. <laughs> hey, Birdie, how's it going? You are different, even from the man you were when I first met you. I don't know what changed, but you're no longer aloof, you know? When you're here, you're actually here. <laughs> I couldn't even make it here when he was born. Well, hey. We didn't know he was so eager to meet us early. He's an early baby. What matters is you're here now. And we're going to be okay. Baby crying. Cozy with her boba. Drinking that boba tea. Oh, he made a little paper airplane. He's still making them. Yeah, we're gonna be okay. R 
regret absence. Hmm. Let's check out that note. Colin missed the birth of Asher. So that is one of his regrets. I'm gonna be okay. What? <laughs> All right. So what is the, what was the memento there? Oh, paper airplane, okay. I see why. This one's kind of tough. I'm gonna use my. I'm gonna use the mouse. Not able to do it like that, right? Hold on, let me. Can I exit out of this? I kind of want to retry. Um. It's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. I thought the mom was going to, like, die or something. <laughs> no, we know that the mom is alive. The mom... Like I said, uh, we are in the memories of of Colin, uh, the dad. And in, real, in the real life, he is on his deathbed. His wife is next to him, upset because he... Because we're a company that changes memories and she feels a little betrayed or a little upset that Colin feels that he uh, didn't live a fulfilling life. So, yeah. Sad stuff, sad stuff, for sure. Oh, okay, there we go, there we go. Then, and then you. So yeah, the wife is alive. The son is also alive as well. It's um, it's Colin who's like about to pass away. It's it's kind of it's kind of trippy to to like tell or like I guess like recap. But what we what we're curious about is what happened to the other girl back in the day. Her name was Faye, but he married Sophia, yet Faye was like a huge part of his childhood, and we're like, what happened to, what happened to her, you know? Um, let me see. Oh, okay, okay, I missed the wife in current day. Yeah, yeah, this is, this is like part three, so. <laughs> you missed the quite a bit if you weren't there but uh thank you thank you for being here and you know discussing being part of it i appreciate it i'm on my call and cooking and it didn't see all no dude you're good cozy you're good if you ever want to i, I definitely recommend you playing the games i'm never gonna stop saying it play them everybody they're good how could i when I feel no different from the kid I was yesterday. Well, you are different, even from the man you were when I first met you. Dude, I got one of my friends a long time ago to play this game. She does not play any video games at all. And I was just like, I, I know this is something up your alley. Even though she does not play any video games at all, she was bawling 
by the end she really liked it and, and stuff so it's like it's just a great ass story uh wow far out where is he did we get drifted into different uh did we get drifted from the spawn point don't worry i got this hmm? um we got he got this apparently he got this look neil all we need to do is get over the wall i don't know what you're planning but let's keep it simple don't worry it doesn't get any simpler than this a key yo thank you for the head pat leah i appreciate it is that hookshot oh my gosh is that a zelda reference come on give me a break i've always wanted to try this all right i guess it's a straightforward enough yeah <laughs> no dude i can feel it eva what this hook shot is the hook shot that will pierce the heavens oh my gosh a Gorin Lagan reference Oh wow. I guess it was time for some comedy. Dude, unstring Pluto and put it back in orbit right now. Relax. Here's the copy and paste. No, not cut paste. Not to mention in part procedurally generally. Not to mention in part procedurally generated. Now, let me just turn on it's localized gravity. Wait, what? What is wrong with you? What? You said it was alright to use my hook shot. Now let's turn the gravity off and. Oh, wow, that was like a super complicated method of getting over this wall. That's funny. Bye, Pluto. Thanks for the lift. That's funny. It's not even a real planet. Your face isn't a real planet. At least it wasn't Uranus. What was that? Nothing. Let's get going. Funny, funny. Hmm. Talk about staying up past bedtime. Don't even bother. It's not gonna fly over, you know. We're too far apart. So, are you ever gonna finish telling me that story? Hmm? The one with the injured bird you found when you were a kid. Oh, yo, that's what, that's what we like. That's what we went through in, with the bird story. Oh, okay, so. Yeah. The one with the injured bird you found when you were a kid. There's not much to it. You know how it goes. The bird had a broken wing, and I took care of it for a while. The vet took it in afterwards, but... But what? But I tried to steal the bird back. You thought you'd take better care of it? Of course not. I know I shouldn't have. Then why? Because it was my only friend, I guess. I just didn't want to let go. Wow. What a load of sappy saccharine. What? Saccharine? Yo, Chocobo Chirp? I might just give you a handkerchief for a dog or even a cat, but a bird? I knew I shouldn't have said anything. 
Everyone I told that story to either thought that or got bored and slept. Yeah, can't help you there. But everyone goes into things with their own context, you know? And oh! Uh, 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 and and, 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 and I oop. <laughs> Thanks for the and I oop. How's it going, Leah? How's the queso? Lol, did you take my dance moves? Oh, just moving like that? So my dance move is like turn body to the left, head to the right, and then vice versa. So it's like, uh, 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 uh. yeah, yeah, yeah. The soundtrack slaps. Dude, that soundtrack is so freaking good, dude. Pretty bird. Pretty bird. Uh, let's see. Let's continue. Maybe it's only fair that they didn't care much for it. Maybe the bird was something different to you than it was to them. Well, or maybe you just sucked at telling that story. I just wanted them to relate. Yeah, how did that work out for you? Dude, she's an asshole. Not every story is meant to be told, you know? Well, she's the one who fucking asked. Some of them are meant to be kept. Uh, so she's like, just saying, you shouldn't have told me. <laughs> so how did it end? Look, she's, <laughs> she's trying to prove a point, probably. So how did it end? I, I think the bird flew off. I think I lost it, but he came back to say goodbye one day. You think? I don't know. I kept on mixing up reality with daydreams back then. I guess I was living in my head a little too much. Hey, you made it. Huh? You're getting better at this. I used to daydream about taking off on a pa big paper plane, you know. TMI? Wait, <laughs> what was TMI? <laughs> I, <laughs> maybe something they said <laughs> could have been taken a different way. I used to daydream about taking off on a big paper plane, you know. We'd fly all over the world, see all kinds of sights. And I could just fly across from balcony to balcony. Well, that's dumb. You can't fly on paper planes, silly. No, duh. I mean, if you really want to fly so bad, why don't you go and become a pilot? Oh, what? Because she said... Some stories are best kept to yourself. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, I guess so. Patiently waiting for Diablo 4. I will be addicted and streaming that game so much. Yo, is it coming out soon? I did. <laughs> I have that pre-ordered. I didn't know it was coming out. Like, tomorrow or something. That's crazy. <laughs> to become a pilot, huh? So she put it in his head to become a pilot and he does become a pilot. Wait, you're serious? Yeah, why not? What do you mean why not? One doesn't simply just go and become a pilot. Why doesn't one? Because how? Well, planes take off from airports, right? It doesn't hurt to find one and ask. That's... If only it could be that simple. If you just let it be, maybe it could. I thought she was going to say something way meaner when he wanted to fly. Standing on a balcony. No! Deja. <laughs> oh my gosh. There's got to be a reason why this girl is really important to him. 
but yeah, she is kind of mean sometimes, but you know, tough love. It's tough love. I should go, Colin. I know. Hey. He's using the ultimate Riz ability. Well, we know that he ends up with somebody else. Hey. I'm gonna look for that airport tomorrow. Oh, she's like, all right. And yeah, he does become a he does become a pilot. Flying. Let's see. She don't care. Oh my god. <laughs> she don't care. Oh my god. They suggested oh, they suggested for Colin to find an airport airport and look for a way. Okay. Let's go ahead and save it again. Nah, nah, she's just the side piece. Oh my God, they're kids. They're kids right now. Well, the friendly girl next door would be the one to inspire to fly, I guess. Remembering all these late night conversations while on his dying bed, tis tis. <laughs> the friendly, right? Well, it seems like he ran into a poster sale or puberty. With the balcony room like this, his parents sure are confident in his sleepwalklessness. I was thinking the same thing, like. Why would you put your child next to a balcony? I mean, if you really want to fly so bad, they said, why don't you go and become a pilot? Oh, he wrote it down in his journal. So this green book from the shelf is just a journal. Seems legit. Okay. Close over a tropical island surrounded by a lagoon and a barrier reef. Hmm, that looks familiar. That's the same place as the painting hanging above his bed in his earlier days, elderly days. All right, I also saw this exact picture in the attic earlier. For a teenager, he sure had some old fashioned taste in posters. Sort of VHS tapes consisting of sci fi classics and horror movies. Hmm. Is there something we're missing here? There's, I don't think there's anything we're missing here. Collins Cello. It's kind of crammed out here. Let's head inside. Uh. Okay, so he's got a chair. You're right. A rude dog plush toy sits in the bookcase. In the bookcase. What's of a horror movie? What? Huh? Didn't think he had it in him. For what? Had what in him? Do you like horror movies? Okay, so green journal. entirely sure what to do here
Can I do sideways? Oh, okay, yeah, I can. All right, cool. We're good to go. We got to continue his memories. <sighs> All right, let's see. Yo, by the way, we are like way past an hour into the stream. I want to thank everybody who's come out and said what's up has done their thing. I really appreciate it. All y'all, thank you so much. We are in his adulthood, young adult life, I believe. Well, so much for the cliffhanger of whether he became a pilot or not. <laughs> Yo, no, Cozy, thank you. Thank you so much for coming out and saying what up. More like cliffhanger. Oakland Center, Cactus 135, cruising flight level 390, Tree 90. Cactus 135, Oakland Center. All uh all time altimeter setting 3007. See ya. Altimeter 3007, Cactus 135, out. See Greenhorn? You gotta play by the rules and use them proper radio words. Every single time. Even when you're not on the radio, at home, to your wife. But the chief instructor said, do I look like the chief instructor? Is her face also endowed with this award-winning mustache? Don't think I'll be going easy on you just because this is your first flight with the company. As my first officer, there's only two things I ever want to hear from you. They're yes, Captain, and landing gear down. That's funny, sir. Do I look funny to you? No, you don't, sir. What did I just say about the only two things I expect to hear from you? Yes, Captain. So I do look funny to you. Uh... Landing gear down. <laughs> Son of a gun. They send me all the brainless pretty ones. <laughs> That's funny. This can't be serious. Well, you know how memories get exaggerated sometimes, I hope. Captain Ernst. Let's check out the note. Award winning mustache. That's really funny. Yes, Captain. That's funny because in his last day of flying, he had also a newbie and he was doing the exact same thing to him. And he, he mentioned that he did that same thing that his instructor or his captain did the exact same thing to him. So this is we're seeing it now. That's really funny. I like that. Is he still keeping journals in this thing? It's just some sort of pre-flight checklist glued on here. Are we able to go outside? Yeah, we are. Okay. Well, how was the first day? Is Captain Ernst always like that? I barely did a thing but sit there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You should probably get used to that for a while. Forget about him. Forget about him, though. You got any plans tonight? The other flight attendants and I were thinking of taking you out for drinks to celebrate. Oh, tell them thanks, but I'd better head straight home, uh, straight back home. My wife's just about half into her first trimester. I'm, I'm away for long enough as it is. Yo, good man. Wow, double congrats. Got a name picked yet? Yeah, we're thinking Asher. That's cute. I like that. Uh, I guess we have to go back. Yes, Captain. Oh, probably the journal, right? No? What would be the memory or the memento? I had one request to not send me a gourd. And what'd they do? They send me a gourd. <laughs> what? 
Yo, 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 Odie. Wait, aren't you streaming right now, Odie? What you doing? You gotta pay attention to your stream, Odie. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming, saying sup. What exactly do we go? Is this it? No, we can't go there. No? Tampoco. Tampoco. supposed to go ex exactly is talk to him my wife is about her for this is long enough oh there we go that was weird I could barely see that the the game is kind of small for me yo again thank you so much for the lurk I appreciate you so it was a little hard to see that. So let's go ahead and continue. Uh, so it's a hat. Oh. There we go. All right, now we are going to go back into his childhood and see what's up. Right now, the, the memories are going by a little fast. I'm waiting for like a big reveal at this moment. Like something big is going to happen soon from what I feel. So we're at, I guess he's at the airport now. We're, at, we're him as a kid. Um, well, like I guess teenager in high school and he's checking out the airport. Go on, ask him. Um, excuse me. Are you an airplane pilot? It's a small municipal airport, kid. You won't find any airlines here. I'm a charter pilot. You looking to charter a pilot a plane? I'm looking to learn to fly. Can you teach me? Looking for an early start, huh? Sounds like you want to talk to the flight school instead. Make a turn up ahead and follow the hall and they'll deal with you at dispatch. See? I told you it's worth a try. <laughs> uh, let's see. Make a turn up left. Make a turn up ahead and follow the hall. They'll deal with you at dispatch. Anything else that we could look at? No, I don't think so. Let's see. Barry? Ah, give me my fix, you stupid thing. Why do I never learn vending machines? Am I right? All right, let's see. Hey, I don't think I've seen you around here before. Yeah, I'm trying to find out how to become a pilot. Oh, it's simple. You get an instructor and you train. I'm actually looking, I'm actually working on my own license. Halfway done, in fact. Isn't it expensive to train? Yeah, but that's why I'm working here part-time. The pay is not much, but the discounts on the train flights help. I bet he knows something about it. Oh, okay. Is this the cafeteria? Okay, we probably don't know what's going on there yet.
<laughs> what the hell? Like a cat plane? What in the world is that? Just leaving something for the class. Maybe the head should have been smaller for aerodynamics sake. Who cares? It's got an ex extra propulsion coming out of its butt. <laughs> Alright. Well, maybe someone would find amusement in this. Is that, is that a window? A poster of the control panel of a small aircraft. Ah, oh, I see. Okay. Hey, well, he had a... As, I mean, like... Sure, she was... Very tough love, you know? Good friend, tough love. He, she was very supportive, you know? She was very supportive. She supported him. He's like, yo, let's let's go to the airport, you know? Let's find out where you could learn to fly because I told you you should try it out. <laughs> there, an airplane's outside. I bet this is where they dispatch them. Also, another thing I want to add that we haven't yet discussed, but I've noticed... Something is up with her family. Something's up with her parents. Like they seem very I don't know I don't know what's what the situation is with her with her family, but whenever her family becomes involved, she's like, I need to go or I should go. Like when they were younger, the parents came out her parents came out and it was like like it's time to come inside, you know? And then just the light turning on, she was like I gotta go. And he's like, I know. So, I think there's something going on with, with her side, her family side as well. Maybe something's not right or something, you know? Hopefully that's not the case, because that's that's really sad. But uh, let's, let's see. I just wanted to mention that there are airplanes outside. I bet this is where they dispatch them. We do offer flight training, and you do meet the requirements, but it's costly. Is there any other way at all? Well, it's not up for me to say, but why don't you check in with the owner? He's on break right now, and I'll let him know you're coming. The, the owner of the entire airport? Yep, it's his family-owned airport. His office is on the other side of the hall. Did you hear that? It's family owned. What does that mean? It means it's owned by a family, duh. And it's also part of, <laughs> and and also that it's probably mafia. Mafia. Uh, what mafia? And I'm behind you, you know. Yeah, just like the Godfather. Let's go visit. Well, what? <laughs> That's funny. Silly kids. I'm ready to go, sir. I got here early and the weight and balance calculated and the log books all checked. Two words, low clouds. Beep. <laughs> yep, you're canceled for the day. Is like low clouds, like you can't fly during low clouds or something. All right, here's the, uh, the mafia looking dude. You've got to be kidding me. So, you're the kid they told me about. L look, sir. I don't want any trouble. Of course you don't, son. There's a word on the street that you want to become a pilot. Yes, sir. Uh, but you have no experience. No, sir. No background. No. And you have no money. I don't, sir. Yet, you come here on the day of my own daughter's flight exam to request my hospitality to make use of my facility without an offer. By the way, your model gives me old school anime vibes. I think that's sick, because I'm a 28-year-old weeb. <laughs> Dude, I'm glad. 
I'm glad, dude. Thank you. I appreciate it. That's a good compliment. I like that old school anime vibes. My model is like a mix of different references. Uh, all right, let's see. Do you disrespect me and my family's airport? Tell you got strong arms and you can help around the airport. Um, I got reasonably strong arms. Oh, are you saying you're up for work? Yes, you are. Y yeah, I am. Hmm, interesting proposal. I'm doing a Godfather impersonation. If you didn't know, it's true. There have been a few positions opening up recently. Perhaps you could use a hand. Very well. The offer is one I won't refuse. Another amaretto sour. Ricardo, an old amaretto. Just sour. Just, just give me some sour. Yeah, I kind of see some Dragon Quest, like, and Golden Boy. Yo, Golden Boy? <laughs> dude, that's a fucking compliment. I fucking love Golden Boy, dude. Thank you. Thank you so much for that. I don't know where. And Dragon Quest is a big compliment. I fucking love Dragon Quest. I played through 8 and 11 and the and 1, the original one. I always wanted to play through the other ones. I, I actually own them and I want to go through them. Dude, I've... I know Golden Boy. Hold on, let me finish. Let me finish the scene, and I'll tell you what's up with Golden Boy. Another armor side. Okay. I'll tell you how I figured. I found out about Golden Boy. Kid. Oh, kid. You work for me now. And with the earring, oh, and with the earnings, you shall pay for your training, one flight at a time. Quick. Thank him and step back. Th thank you for your kindness, sir. See, you did it. <laughs> wait a minute. All this happened is just... W wait a minute. All that's happened is that I applied for a job. You're practically un the underboss now. That's funny. That's so funny. So, uh, assuming exaggeration of memories. Is this like racist to Italians? I can't tell. Italians isn't a race, Neil. <laughs> Italiophobia. But he does seem to be have a tendency of getting creative with his memories. Hey. Maybe that's just what he gets for watching the movie when he's eight, when he's eight. Anyhow, let's see if the Don has anything for us. First job. All right, so let me tell you. Let me tell you. How I found out about Golden Boy. I was like, I don't know how old I was. I was like, in elementary school, and my brother was in high school. My brother would get out of school later than I because you know, I guess high school. You, you get out later. So, one day I was like snooping around and stuff, I guess. I was just like looking for a movie. No, I think I was actually sick. I think I faked sick one day. I faked sick and I was just like looking around and stuff. And then I noticed that there was like a DVD box and I have no fucking clue where this came from. I just know that it was my brother's. And at the time, like, we weren't really into anime. I don't even think we were into anime at the time. Dragon Ball... Dragon Ball Z was probably, like, my first anime. And I don't... I don't remember. It probably... I don't even... I don't know. I don't know. But anyways... Uh... I found out about it. And I, I put it... I popped it in. And at first, like... At first, like, I'm young and, like, I really don't understand the art. It just looked old. It just looked like an old anime. And I was, like, eh. And I was just, like, watching it. And then, like, 
boobas, bro. The first episode. <laughs> the first episode, dude. You know what the first episode was with the computer one? And I was like, what the hell is, what is this, you know? I went to a private school also. So this is like completely out of left field for me. And I was just like, what's going on? And my face was turning red and everything. I was like thinking like, dude, how can my brother have this? Oh, you watch Golden Boy and you're like, ooh, I like anime now. <laughs> I was just like, what is this, you know? And it was like kind of funny, but I didn't have like the attention span for it. So I... I just put it away. I never asked my brother about it. I never asked my brother about it. I never asked him whatever, da 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 da. Just, yeah, I never asked him about it. And uh, later on, I would eventually like watch Golden Boy because I was just so curious. Like, what was it that I saw? What was it that I saw, dude? And I, I watched it and it was so fucking funny. It was so funny. Bro had his first sexual awakening from Golden Boy with an absolute chat. <laughs> I don't know, dude. I really don't know about that. But <laughs> yo, what up, Dark Lion? How's it going, dude? How are you? I wouldn't say it was my first sexual awakening, but like, it was just like, whoa, what the fuck? Or like, I mean, I wouldn't say fuck at the time. I'd be like, yo, wowzers. <laughs> wowzers. Oh, dude. But yeah, that's basically what happened. Um, <laughs> I never asked my brother. I probably will never ask him why he had Golden Boy. But I appreciate it. And ever since then, I tell all my friends about it. I tell all my friends about Golden Boy. You could actually watch... Like, it's on YouTube right now. You could watch Golden Boy on YouTube for free. Somebody uploaded them. And... They've been there for a long time. Good quality also. And uh, I was actually watching the first episode of my friend not too long ago. And, uh, and dude, he loved it. No, we saw the first two episodes. And uh, he loved it. So, hell yeah, dude. It's it's always a blast to show it to somebody who, who hasn't seen Golden Boy. So far, so good. Finished the anime series. Yo, which one? Which one did you finish, Dark Lion? Man's Robin in old school Batman and Robin. <laughs> what? Man's Robin in old school Batman and Robin. Were <laughs> you wowzers, Batman? <laughs> Dude, wowzers. <laughs> um, yeah, that's that's my story. That's my story with uh, freaking Golden Boy, dude. And do not... Uh, if, if y'all look it up, view it at your own discretion. Golden Boy... Uh, has nudity a lot of sexual stuff in it so watch it in your own uh watch it on your own risks you know but again if you want to watch it it's on youtube for free really fucking funny though g williger's batman well, holy double on tra <laughs> on tondra batman Yo, 1-1, one, one. how's it going? Hi, Thug It. Hi, Thug It McNugget. Yo, what is up? How's it going? How are you? Thank you so much for coming out. <laughs> Don't tease me, Mr. <laughs> True. I really like it. I, I've, never, I've never heard of that. What anime is that? I love it, dude. I'm glad. I'm glad you like that, Melo Jello. I'm glad my childhood trauma slash sexual awakening maybe is up to par with your entertainment dude i'm good I, <laughs> i'm good how are you i'm good i'm good just got out of work well actually like around what time is it right now it's 8 11 i got out maybe like two well let's just say two hours ago i got out of work two hours ago um uh, been streaming uh we're playing some uh fighting paradise very much a tearjerker game but uh, yeah, again, uh, thank you so much for coming out, 1 1. I freaking appreciate it. Are y'all gonna have a stream anytime soon? Are y'all gonna do some battle? Do you stream 1 1? I don't know if I asked that before on Caitlyn's stream. Sounds like a hentai 
Ain't gonna what? Ain't gonna cap. Oh, uh, sounds like a hentai. Ain't gonna cap. Um, but yeah, have you seen it? It's not. There is no. There's no sex in in Golden Boy. It's all just like nudity. But like, it's lewd. It's very lewd. It's very lewd. That's how I'm gonna say it. She's not gonna stream today, but we're gonna go play for a bit. No, I don't. But I was thinking about it. Dude, you should. <laughs> both of you should stream together. That'd be really awesome. I wouldn't mind chilling on both of y'all's saying sup. It's a popular anime right now. I need to check it out. Um, I need to catch up on Attack on Titan because, uh, it's, dude, I I need to. Dude. I just need to. Ain't gonna lie. Uh, ain't gonna lie. Wish our boy, got, wish our boy got lucky. What, what, what are you talking about? Oh, you mean uh, what's his name? Kentaro, Kentaro from uh, Golden Boy. Uh, in a way, the way that it ends, I wish, I wish, I wish. Yeah, you're right. Because that would have been, that would have been the ending. Like, okay, like you don't need to see it, but like, come on, come on. I'm gonna go now, but thanks for the welcome. See you soon. Yo, thank you so much for coming out. I appreciate it. Uh, tell Caitlin I said sup. And if uh, y'all stream, I'll definitely be there and say hi. I messed up on the title. The anime is Nagatoro. Nagatoro. I don't think I've... Like I said, I've never heard of it. I don't, I don't watch too much anime anymore, sadly. I work. I work in the morning and then I get out and then I try to stream or like i'm just so tired i don't know i don't know but uh i'll definitely i'll definitely keep an eye out for it did season one just drop or something all right let me go ahead and continue with the game but well, that was that was funny good topic good topic mellow and i'm gonna start without that right now oh is that his drink also he probably ordered it so much that it became like a core memory. I recommend it. There's a total of 24 episodes, each season 12 episodes. So it's like completely done. Hey, that's what I'm here for. Nice. Uh, oh, so it's this one. continues just waiting for season three ah okay okay so if i was to go into it then i would like need to wait for season three finally caught your stream too so i'm glad about that too dude mellow thank you so much again for coming out dude i really appreciate it all right let's activate this drink armoretto sour without the armoretto And that's just something that he probably orders because he's, he's like so used to it. Finally, some tropical air. Right now, seeing fruit bas fruits basket. I've heard of that before. I think is it like a slice of life? There you go, sir. Your amaretto sour. Hold the arm amaretto. Thanks. Just the way I like it. And for you, young lady, your Amaretto saddle. Sour. Hold it sour. Why, thank you. I didn't know you guys made this. Are you going to be able to handle all that lemon juice? It's an old favorite. <laughs> it's just like fucking sour, dude. It's just... We're actually here. Glad I got to meet a new community in this Twitchverse world. Dude, yeah, dude. It's all about, you know, 
in like meeting new communities, meeting new people and, you know, supporting each other. That's, that's what, that's what I always uh, strive for in like being friends on Twitch, you know, just like chilling, getting to know someone and then supporting them and, uh, you know, being genuine, being genuine, basically. Yes, but the new one is closer to the manga. I didn't know there was a new one. I do know about Fruit Basket. I've heard about Fruit Basket, but I didn't know it was a there was a new one and an old one. We're actually here. You wanted to visit for a long time now, haven't you? Is it everything you dreamed it would be? This is the one on his poster, right? Well, when you've got expectations. But yes, it's still beautiful. Damn, okay, so this is one of his regrets? He's always wanted to visit this place. He's here, but he's like, mm, not quite it. How about you, though? Hmm? You know, spending half our savings on a delayed honeymoon and all that. Hey, now's not the time to think like that. We'll bounce back up. I've got a few gigs waiting when we get back. Not to mention your new job, Mr. Airline Pilot. Don't jinx it. Might still be a while until I start with the company. Besides, the pay's not going to be good for a while. Hey, as long as you get to wear the cool shades. I talked with Maria last week. We got the flexible hours arranged. So, we're ready, huh? Yeah. As ready as we're gonna be. Just excited for next week, Street Fighter 6. Dude, I need to get used to Street Fighter 6, man. It's it's different. It's definitely different. I like that there's less. It's like less, but m more at the same time. Just like, just, it's just different. It's weird, it's weird. I like it, I like it. But I definitely suck at it and need practice. Was debating on that or Diablo 4 first, and I chose Diablo 4. Dude, honestly, if you had if you had to choose one or the other, I think Diablo 4 is the best choice. You don't have to avoid spoilers and catching up. But uh, yeah, I'm I love fighting games, so Street Fighter 6, and I got I had Diablo like <laughs> pre-ordered a long time ago. I'm not I'm not good. I'm not a good guy when it comes to pre-ordering and not. Yeah, I was ready. Uh, yeah, as ready as we're going to be. You know, this might be the last trip like this. We'll have it a long time. Yeah. Huh. Well, we'll make the little bastard pay for all the vacations we missed one day. In the meantime, all the more reason to enjoy the rest of it. Wait. Oh, is she... Here's to the rest of it. Is she pregnant already? Is it? Oh, he dropped his drink. Fuck, 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 fuck. <laughs> let's go. Let's play. <laughs> maybe, maybe. Smooth fella. Sloppy start. All right, let's see what is going on here. Yo, we're about to reach two hours into the stream. I want to thank everybody who's come out, said what's up, and has done their thing. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much, guys. And also, I hope you're having a great Tuesday. Tuesday evening, wherever you're at. Alright, let's see. Uh, notes. A sloppy start to the long-awaited honeymoon. Well... It's just cursing. Colin. So, it even sounds like he had regrets about coming here. A small uninhab uninhabited aquarium. Well, that seems redundant. Oh, that's cute. Come on, Colin. The water's not that cold.
Those marshmallows are totally gonna get overcooked. Let me see. Well, both are great choices since June has a lot of great games coming out. What other games are coming out in June? It's over here. It's like the pier. Wow, that's pretty. Fia, you still awake? Told you lemon juice is the way to go. <laughs> let's see, is there any way? Nah, nothing else. Oh, it's here. A blank piece of paper. Looks like he's about to lay down some rhymes. A faded painting of Bora Bora. Yeah, I'm still gonna get Street Fighter 6. But I can't, but I can wait a bit longer. Yeah, yeah. I get that. You're being responsible, one game at a time. Hmm. I think there's still some stuff in here that I haven't checked. Uh, let's stay. Let's stay. That hibiscus. This is more of a suitable place for that kind of flower. All right. Yay, backtracking. At least it's a beach. So hibiscus plants. Bora Bora, right? There's something over here that we missed. Oh yeah, it's this. What's paradise? You have reached it. What up JD, how are you dude? How you doing? Thank you so much for coming out. How's your Tuesday? How was your Tuesday? Damn it, what? Okay, oh, hold on, hold on. There we go. That's what I needed to do. I'm hot because it's hot out here and I have a headache from it. And where's my tacos? Dude, I wish. I wish I could give you tacos. But I tried giving you Whataburger earlier and you were like, nah, bro. Nah, I'm kidding. I'm messing. Dude, it was fucking hot today. I never had one of burger. Dude, it's really good. You should try it. I mean, if you don't like it, well, it's not the end of the world, but it's really good. She, what a burger. Haven't had that in like a decade. Are you also in Texas? Jello? Mellow Jello? They don't have it here where I'm at. Oh, really? Damn. I'm sorry. I 
I know it's not necessarily a Texas thing anymore. Low rider. <laughs> I see, I see. I know uh, whatever isn't specifically Texas anymore, but it's mainly in Texas and like a few other places around the U.S. So I'm not going to assume people don't have it. Hey, your shift's about to start at the shop. Okay, I'm almost done here. Did you ever get your homework done? I'll do it when there's no customers. Sneaky, I like it. Did you get yours done? <laughs> Good one. Wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a flipping second, dude. No. No. Oh, no. Guys, I think I figured out what's up with Faye. If you don't know who I'm talking about, I'm talking about the the girl on the on the wing, on the freaking wing. I'm in a bad town that doesn't have a Walmart. Holy shit. Well, I hope y'all don't need a Walmart. <laughs> I mean, some places, you know, some people, dude, some places don't even want Walmart because it takes business. So if like your, uh, if your place is like thriving locally, that's actually really cool. I'm not like anti Walmart, but like if y'all are still thriving with like businesses, like mom pop shops and things like that, that's fucking cool. There's not many places like that anymore. Uh, I'm from Cali, though. So, in and out is my shiz. I see. I had in and out one time. Um, it was it was pretty good. I liked it. Um, but I realized that uh, we, we just got a Freddy's, like, maybe a few years ago. Almost the exact same thing. So, it's not like... I, I, don't, I don't think I would be very, like, whoa about in and out if I ever tried it again. We have an in and out in Austin. I'm not in Austin though, but gone there once. It was pretty good. Okay. So I'm calling it right now, guys. This is this is it. This is the situation that's going on in the game. I'm in West Texas. Nice. I'm in South. Dude, Jack in the Box tacos are goaded, yes. Not the town, but the area. No, yeah, I'm, I know, I know. I assumed, I assumed uh, West Texas in that vicinity. Okay. Faye? I want to say it. Ah, no, I'm not going to say it. I'm not going to say it. I don't want to say it. I'm sorry. I'm, oh, man, I want to, I want to say it. I'm going to be 100% honest when it comes out what is going on in this game and I'll be like, I'll tell you if I'm right or if I'm wrong. Hold on. Hold on. Um, oh man. The best I could do is screenshot a note. Write down a note and screenshot it. Can I do this? Because I wanna, I wanna be, I wanna be like, yo, I guess this, I guess this. Uh, ah, whatever, whatever. I know. Okay, so like, yeah, like, I have a feeling I know what it is, and it's like gonna be so like, it's gonna be so sad. It's honestly gonna be so sad. 
don't think too hard with your peanut sized brain. Whatever, JD. You know, you don't need a Walmart, man. <laughs> <laughs> That's dangerous. <laughs> she should really get down from there. Dude, exactly. Oh my god. Okay, okay. All right. Game game is already like Game is already giving me what I'm thinking. Maybe this was supposed to be the time like you're supposed to figure it out. Come on. All right. That new kid they hired is really quiet. Yeah, but at least he gets the work done. Doesn't he have a scheduled flight this afternoon? Yeah, but we're a plane short because someone snagged a blown tire. Unless someone gets canceled, I don't think he'll go, he'll get to fly. He doesn't even have an instructor yet? Does he even have an instructor yet? Beats me. I think they're talking about you. I know. Shh. Okay. You know where Friday Night Lights are? No, I, I don't. Um, uh, what, what? What Texas names? Laredo, El Paso, uh, Roma. Paris, Texas? I don't know. Mm. The Shonda in Odessa, Texas. Ah, um, the one next to it, which is called Andrews. Oh, really? That's cool. Do you like it? Do you like it over there? Uh, why is it? It's not letting me... There you go. A blurred entry about working at the airport and Faye falling asleep on the wing of the plane. There's also some random class notes. Read? Yes. Right, runaways. The runway numbers actually tell you the direction of the runway. Simply add a zero to the end of the runway number and you have the magnetic heading it's facing. Runway 9 means 90 degrees and magnetic compass is facing the east. So this is so this is why the numbers on the opposite ends of each runway are always 18 eight, eight, uh, 1800 uh, 180 degrees apart. Uh, why not? Each plane has a minimum airspeed it must maintain under each configuration to keep flying. Something about exceeding critical angle of attack and airflow separating the air oil, etc, etc. In conclusion, planes are kind of like the bus that move uh, the bus in that movie which explodes if it goes under 50 miles per hour. That's pretty funny. Nope, I need to get out, but I can't because I have no way of leaving, let alone making money. Damn, JD. I hope that situation changes. There'll be a time you'll be able to make money. Not everything is set in stone, my dude. You got this, bro. Yo, Suma. Suma, you want a piece? Suma, want a piece? Suma, you want a piece? <laughs> What's up, Suma? How's it going? Being dead sucks, but it's what the system wants. Hey, yeah, brother. I get ya, I get ya. What is that? Foxes? Now I'm gonna pet some foxes? Engine failures. Contrary to some beliefs, engine failure doesn't make the plane plummet out of the sky. The plane would no longer. <laughs> Yo, thank you for the chocobo chirp. The plane would no longer be able to climb but can still land a pilot controlled glide. Right, uh, reminder to self, engine failure doesn't just make the plane plummet out of the sky. Engine failure doesn't just make the plane plummet out of the sky. Engine failure doesn't just make the plane plummet out of the sky. Okay.
Mm. Every single time. Here, let me get that for you. You just gotta unhook it from the inside and... Wow, that is some crazy maneuvering kit. I've been here for years and I couldn't never figure that thing out. It must have like some kind of magical bending power. Um, I only know because I have to clean it, so... <laughs> That's very funny. Okay. Modest kid, modest kid. Oh, he's working the concession? Okay, here's $24 and change. Wow, that's uh, a lot of pennies. It's okay, I have all day. Oh my god. Dude, I'll, I'll admit. Sometimes when I was younger, I would pay in pennies. But there was a time when I was like, nope, I do not want to do that no more. Like, I understood. But if I was like ever desperate and I needed gas and I had pennies, then yeah, we would have to do that. Just like that, huh? I guess everyone has their reason to start flying. Hmm, what about you? Well, just between you and me, flight, uh, flight instructor isn't my real passion. In fact, before I came here to teach, I was an acrobatic sky riding pilot. Wow, like making stuff appear in the sky with the plane trails? Yep, I was darn good too. But then I got fired. Why? Total discrimination, I tell ya. It was all because they found out I'm an illiterate who dropped out of school. Oh shit. Did they care that I was the most skillful pilot in the fleet? No. But just because I don't read good, they dropped me like a hot potato. Ugh, it riles me up just thinking about it. Yeah, that really doesn't sound fair. Well, um, maybe if you need your service one day, I'll be able to hire you. Thanks, kid. Man, first you get my uh, first you give me my soda, then you vow to give me my give my life meaning again. I see that I'm gonna have to, f uh, I'm gonna have to flight instruct the heck out of you. That went well. Who's that? She sure makes herself at home. Hmm. Well, you might be in a bit of a rut. There's still a mem mis memory link missing, and the readings indicate we've activated everything in the area. Eh, maybe we could stimulate his memory somehow? Hopefully, let's keep it our, our eye open. Okay. Dude. Oh my gosh. I, uh, uh, dude, it's, um, we gotta keep our eye open. Oh shit. Did you feel that? What? I don't know, some kind of breeze? By the way, just letting you know, we are going to be ending the stream in a bit. We're going to uh, just make sure that we get our... Uh, we're going to make sure that we're uh, able to go to the next memory. So that way, when we do start again, we can just go ahead and access that new memory. Uh huh. This wasn't open earlier. Did you do that? Yo, thank you so much for the victory. Leah, how are you? Did you do that? Uh, if I did, you would know. I've been literally right behind you. In fact, I don't even know why I'm just following you in a constant manner. <laughs> That's funny. Alright, let's see. Oh shit, what's going on? What the heck is this? I, I don't know, but it seems like this may be our ticket out of this memory. So we need a way to continue this place just magically opened itself up in the most unsettling way, no less. 
I'm not sure what's going on with this place either, but there's only one way to go now. Come on, we gotta jump. Oh, hey, no, hey, yo, oh, no. Oh, hey, yo, oh, no. Oh my gosh. Yo, do you thank you for the head, Pat? I appreciate you. I can't even look down. It's the only way to find out, Neil. Okay, I'm jumping in three, two. Oh shit. <laughs> Quit pushing me off ledges, Eva. What? I didn't push you. The beep you didn't. Yo, thank you so much for the lurk. For the double lurk. Hey, yo, that's the cover of the game. Whoa. Hey, you hanging on all right? What is even going on and why is this happening? Wait. Tone your ham down. I think I see them inside. Uh, turn your hand down. What is even going on and why is this happening? Colin, what is even going on and why is this happening? You're doing just fine. You're not going to die. Now, do you have the runway in sight? I, I think so. Okay, fly the approach and don't forget the cockpit check. Um, mixture full rich. Uh, primer in and locked. Zero Yankee Romeo cleared and land runway two one. Zero Yankee Romeo. We're too high. Get some flaps in there. Speed, lower the nose. All right, yeah, I have control. Oh, thank God. That is scary as fuck. Dude, and what's her name? Faye is in there. Hold on, looks like we're gonna uh, land. I don't know, I didn't read it, what it said. But Faye is in there, dude. Why is Faye in there? She is not supposed to be training with him, you know? Come on, come on. Do I need to spell it out to you? Do I need to spell it out to you? Something is not right. Oh, yo. Talented Thumbs? Yo, Talented Thumbs. I appreciate you, dude. Thank you so much for the raid. What up, Raiders? My name is Thugga McNugget. I'm a variety VTuber. We like to do it all here. We do it all, basically. Just anything. I'm Like, honestly. Yeah. Whatever I feel like doing, we do. Ahoy! Yo, Thumbs. How's it going? Let me do a little shouty for you. Go check out Thumbs. Great guy. Great uh, drawer. And really a huge supporter of everyone and everything who is deserving. I don't even know. Just anyone and everyone. He just wants to support everybody, honestly. Thumbs, what were you up to, dude? I see you just chatting. But, you know, you were, I did see you drawing earlier. And just chilling. Chilling, relaxing, maxing, waxing. <laughs> dude. Yeah, that sounds like you. Oh, you were also uh, you were doing um, uh, Ape Escape. How was that, dude? How was that? That's a badass person right here. Yeah, dude, go check out freaking Thumbs, bro. He's a great person. Ape Escape, Mega Man 8, and some Mr. Domino. Nice, nice. Mega Man is always great. I hadn't played that in a while. Dude, well, I'm glad you're here. Again, thank you so much for the raid. Um, yo, if you need to go and grab a drink, grab some food, you're definitely welcome to lurk. I'm sure you're tired. I know you go for long hours, dude, of streaming. So be my guest, man. Yo, sorry. I took a nap and just woke up. How is everyone? How's it going, Starry? There's a little shouty for you. How you doing? Good morning. Thank you, Mellow Jello. Definitely do. Of course, of course. Yo, we were we were actually trying to finish up a little part of the story and then we were also going to be raiding out. Um, we are just trying to get to like a, a quick checkpoint into the game and I think I I figured out something in the game and it is it is honestly like what the hell but like it hasn't it hasn't unveiled itself yet. It hasn't unveiled itself. And I don't want to say it because I don't want to, like, ruin expectations for y'all. 
So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say it, but uh, yeah, we're just waiting to be able to hop over to the next memory, and we're gonna save before that, and we're gonna raid out. What is this game? Uh, thumbs. We're playing Finding Paradise. It's the sequel to To the Moon. Uh, it's a RPG Maker game. RPG Maker is uh, like a, I guess you could say like a template for making games of this nature. Comes with like a lot of uh, pre-made assets and you can make your own. So uh, this person, the director of the game, uh, used RPG Maker, made this game. And it's not very much gameplay, but it's made, it's basically like a graphic novel in a way. It's heavy in story and definitely heavy in like feels and music and it's it's great it's fucking great i love it saddest games ever <laughs> have you finished it sorry i never i never found out if you finished uh uh to the moon uh sorry is actually uh streaming or no, i don't know if she's no well, she's not streaming it right now obviously right but um she was streaming to the moon and last time I checked, or last time she told me she was about to finish it, but I'm not sure. She's been going through uh, some stuff, and uh, she is back. No, not yet. I'm gonna stream it soon. Just need to get through. Need to get the strength. Now I get you. I get you. We're gonna be here when you're ready, of course. Whenever you are good to go, we're here to support you. And uh, yeah, I can't wait for you to finish that game. Cause it's a great it's a great ending uh interesting sounds really cool dude it really is i i haven't even like told you what the story's about but it, it's definitely a tearjerker um let me go ahead and just continue for a little bit hey you all good <laughs> dino sunglasses no eva i'm not all good in fact i'm dead <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> okay, that's pretty funny, dude. <laughs> Alright, that was pretty funny. That's funny. Get the beep up. Alright. <laughs> that was funny. Dude, sometimes this game just like throws random curveballs of comedy. I love it. Alright. Dude, th okay. So, I guess... Uh, let me let me let me explain what's going on in the story for anybody who's who doesn't know and maybe one day just comes out and wants to like experience it we are a company that uh fixes the memories of uh people or like changes the memories of people who are pretty much about to die basically the patient hires us to change their memory before they die so that they could feel that they lived the life that they wanted for instance i'm like on my deathbed they go in and they suddenly change my memories to make me believe that i was like a famous rock star and things and i personally believe it because it's real to me but it really didn't happen right so our patient in this game his name is colin he wants to or he wishes that his life was fulfilling he doesn't know of any way or any reason why or what would make it fulfilling but he just wants it to happen his only his only wish is is to leave the memories of his wife and his son alone um he has regrets in his life and he wanted to go ahead and reach out to this company in order to uh get them resolved his wife doesn't like the idea she feels like he she feels that in him wanting this he must feel regret or unhappy with her so she doesn't like it at all so in the game we are going through his life uh from his adulthood to his childhood back to his adulthood back to his childhood we're finding little things out here and there about what is causing him to regret things 
one major thing about right now about his childhood is that there's this girl named Faye that was a big influence on him that was a big supporter of him and just like his only friend but I think I found some we're at a point where we're questioning why isn't she a part of this guy's life when he's an adult sounds like total recall but in modern times for the terminally ill pretty sick concept re uh, really dude it really is a sick concept i really like it total recall wasn't total recall like yo go on a, go on a vacation in your in your mind i always wondered about that like if i could go on a vacation in my mind would i i think i totally would dude i think i totally fucking would i would do totally like take the opportunity go somewhere fucking arnold schwarzenegger goes to like mars right that would be so fucking sick and then yeah the ending is like kind of trippy i remember that um but yeah that's that's the game that we're playing Faye again big question why isn't she in his memory uh why isn't she in his adulthood if they were so close i think i know why and it's like what the fuck because We've been chilling with her for quite a bit. And, uh, yeah, dude. Yeah. Oh, the music, dude, the music is like phenomenal. The music, the soundtrack for the, for both games are amazing, honestly. All right, let's go ahead and continue. Oh, shit, my bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. We're walking everywhere. Is it normal to feel kind of dizzy? Don't worry. You'll get past it in time. You know what? Here, take my hat. Ah, uh, you remind me of you remind me of back when I was a young lad. As in back then, I also knew someone who else, or someone else who was nervous like you. <laughs> hey, you look pretty cool in that hat. This was nothing compared to the acrobatic sky riding flights I've done I tell ya one day I'm gonna get back to that okay hey you look pretty cool in that hat okay bam right in the noggin <laughs> another headshot Eva no scope Booyah, give him the concussion. <laughs> That's pretty funny. You're lucky I programmed my head to be as hard as a rock. <laughs> you sure planned ahead. That's funny. Memento. Let's go ahead and do this last memento before we raid out. Uh, let's see. Got it. Oh no. There we go. All right, we did it. We unlocked the next memory, but this is where we're going to end it, right? We could walk around. Okay, yeah, cool. This is where we're going to end it. I believe the next stream is going to be our last one with this game. We're probably going to finish it. <laughs> sorry, sorry. 
we are like two hours and a half into the stream i want to thank everybody who's come out said what's up and you know just been so cool uh <laughs> cozy let's see what we can read out to y'all let me go ahead and go to our ending screen because right now i am uh displaying my my desktop so you know don't want to dox myself or anything let me see let me see what we got here rookie numbers oh okay all right <laughs> let's see who can we check out you know it's been a while let's go ahead and raid out to akitas she is a great friend awesome person let me see raid she is currently playing Fortnite. She has, uh, she is a uh, VTuber, great vibes and really cool. Uh, just, just very stylized, and she's worked a lot on her streams. TJ, of course, bro. <laughs> Thanks for a great stream, yo. Thank you for coming out. I appreciate it. Um, I want to thank everybody who came out. Let me see. Uh, Cozy, Starry, TJ, Mellow Jello, Thumbs, Leah. We also had Suma. Uh, we had Big Mike come out earlier. We had Odie. Uh, we also had JD, Dark Lion, uh, as well as. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, da -da 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 -da. We had Flirty Birdie come in. Deja as well. Thank you so much. Uh, and i believe there might be more there might be more but you know it's getting hard i use back in the day i used to thank everybody who came out yo thank you thank you for coming out deja suma you want a piece suma you want a piece suma want a piece here you go let me give you some more piece <laughs> before i used to thank everybody who came out individually but now like yo it's getting a little harder because a lot of y'all coming out and i fucking appreciate it but again let's go ahead and raid out guys i'll talk to you later have a great wednesday and have a great rest of your tuesday i'm out see ya